Hello everyone and welcome to my new video and what is this video about? Well, tonight I'm going to experiment with comb filters on the Electron Octatrack and I'm going to do that by running some noise into the inputs, running them through the comb filters where I'll then tune them to melodic taste and then use triggers and the amplitude envelope to excite the comb filters with a sudden burst of noise. In this case from the Make Noise Woggle Bug, which is currently squiggling away here. And then once I've done that, I'm going to duplicate these several times, give them different conditional triggers and different tunings with the endeavor to create a kind of semi-random harmonic landscape. So let's get started. You can follow along at home if you like. First thing I'm going to do is make sure that my track one is on a through machine. It is. So let's put some triggers in here and see what happens. Okay, we need to turn down the amp envelope. There we go. Essentially, we're going to perform car plus strong synthesis. If you don't know what that is, you can go and Google it. So a short burst of noise creates a soft string type sound. more noise that gets let through excites more harmonics in the in the comb feedback. We could even use some attack for bowed, bowed sounds. Nice. If we use the low pass filter we can get almost bell-like sounds. Or drums. Okay. I'm now going to apply some conditional triggers. To say... First one I'll go every two times. This one can go every one out of three times. And I'll tune this one to a low C. This one to a higher Maybe an A. Let's copy these. Give these ones different notes. Okay. Maybe let's copy them a little bit more. Copy, paste, copy, paste. These ones I'll give conditional triggs, but a probability of 50%. In fact, I'll just copy those ones and paste them again. And I'll give them different tunings.
Thomas. Okay, now I'm going to copy that part, that track. I'll give these ones all different pitches. Maybe this one I'll change the amp envelope setting slightly. And I'll copy that one again and paste it to track three. In fact, let's copy it a final time to track four. I should have track eight set up as a master track. I'm going to apply it try and apply a comb filter to the entire mix. See how that sounds. I'd like to give some of these earlier ones a little bit more feedback. Oh, they've all got full feedback. Never mind. Sounds good anyway. I think I'd like to apply some reverb now. It's a little bit plinky. I think I'd like to give it some more rhythms. So I'm going to copy some of these tricks. Let's copy uh, this one to here. And maybe this one to here. Let's do something similar here. Let's copy that one to there. This one to here. Same here. As the comb filters resonate amongst each other and then all together into the final one, it starts to create this harmonic sort of mystery, ghostly, a little bit of reverb really emphasizes that as well.
tiny, tiny little bit of noise being let through by a very, very steep amplitude envelope gives you a kind of nylon string guitar sound. Applying a low pass filter to the f comb feedback gives a much more picky sound. But applying no filter makes those harmonics come out. So here on the final comb filter, which is at the end of the entire chain, if I have the feedback up full but the low pass filter down and start to dial up that low pass filter, Let's change the pitch of this, see what happens. In fact, why don't we parameter lock the pitch? And I'll apply conditional tricks to these as well. Let's say 25%. To bring up that low pass filter. Well, I don't know about you, but I could sit and listen to that for hours. See you next time.